Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to download, install, and use CCleaner from Piriform. First, we're going to get on the internet, and we're going to go to Piriform.com. Now, Piriform offers a couple other programs you might like that are also free, such as Defragler for defragging your hard drive, Recuva for recovering files that you may have deleted accidentally, and Specky, which gives you information about your computer system. But today, our tutorial is on CCleaner, so click Download. It's going to give you three choices, the free version, Pro, and Pro Plus. The free version is going to be good enough for just about everybody out there, so click Download Now. And your computer is going to pop up the automatic download somewhere. If you're using Internet Explorer or Edge or Google Chrome, just watch for it. Once it's complete here, we'll go ahead and do our install. Now the UAC just popped up on my screen. I'm going to click Yes. Next, we're going to leave all these check marks in here. Install. I'm going to uncheck these because it created a shortcut over here that I'm going to use to open. I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger. Now at the very top here, it gives you a little bit of information about your system. Windows 10 Pro 64-bit, type of CPU, how much RAM you have, and your video card. This gives you basic information right there. You have a cleaner button, registry button, tools button, and an options button. Under the cleaner button, you have two tabs, a Windows and an applications. Most of this stuff will automatically check by itself when you install it. Now, when you add new programs, you may want to go underneath the applications tab and make sure that whatever that program was that you installed, it has a check mark next to it if you want it to be cleaned by CCleaner. If not, don't worry about it. Just leave it on the default settings and let it run. We're going to go over here to the Run Cleaner button. It's going to tell you that this process is going to permanently delete these files from your system, which they're just junk files anyway, so you're not losing anything that you know is detrimental to your system. I don't need it to tell me that every time, so I'm going to check the box, Do Not Show Me. Click OK. It's going to run. It says it took 0.9 of a second to remove 60 megabytes, and it tells you where it removed all the stuff from. What I do is I just keep running the run cleaner button until zero bytes removed shows up. Now sometimes you'll end up with a log file or a .ms file or something, a thumbnail file that won't go away. If you click the run cleaner button five times and it's still there, just move on. It's not going to hurt anything. It's probably a process that keeps kicking it up. So the next time you run it, it'll, it will probably remove it. So under the registry, we're going to leave everything checked here. We're going to run the scan for issues. And we have an obsolete software key that's here. You can click uh, Fix Selected Issue. Now it's going to ask me if I want to back up the changes to the registry. Now, if you don't feel comfortable choosing no, choose yes and save it. It's not a very big file. But I've never had CCleaner ever remove anything from my registry that has caused an issue on my computer. And I've been using this program for a very long time. So I'm going to choose no. And then I'm going to choose Fix Issue. Now, if there was 500 of these here, if I wanted to hit Fix Issue, I would have to hit it like 500 times. It would say 1 of 500 right here. But there will also be another button in the middle that doesn't show up right now because I only have one. If there was two up here, there would be another button that said Fix All Issues. You would click that, and it will fix them all at once, so you don't have to do each one individually unless you want to. Um, if you're watching this tutorial, just hit Fix All. So we're going to hit Fix Issue, Close. I'm going to run it again. And now no issues are found. Under Tools, you have an uninstaller just like you have on Windows. You can run it through here. A startup, so you can check things that are starting up when your computer starts up. So you can ena enable them or disable them right here. You can disable and then you can re-enable just like that. Browser plugins for Internet Explorer and Google Chrome. Disk Analyzer to tell you which file types are using up the most uh, disk space on there. A duplicate finder to find duplicate files so you can delete the extras. A system restore. I don't have system restore on, so nothing shows up here. But if you have uh, system restore points, they'll show up in this area. Drive wiper, which uh, wipes your free space and does entire drives for such things like formatting. Now, I've uh, had a lot of questions on this whole area, so I'm going to do a separate tutorial just on this section with the drive wiper. Under options, I'm going to go to settings. This is just your basic settings. You have an add run and an add open, which is going to be right here. Right click. 
There they are. Automatically check for updates. And then the normal file deletion and secure file deletion. Leave it on normal file deletion. The secure one I'm going to go over with when I do this tutorial for the free space and the formatting. Under cookies, if you want to save cookies for like your banking sites and stuff, they'll show up over here. You can click them and put them over here so that you don't have to do the captures and stuff like that every time you go or answer security questions every time you go on one of your sites. The include, exclude, you'll never use. Monitoring, I always turn the monitor monitoring off. Some people may want it on, but I just run CCleaner at the end of the day before I shut my computer down. I don't need it to monitor you know what I'm doing and tell me that it needs to be cleaned I just do it at the end of the day so I shut it off so it's not running in my taskbar down here on the bottom see it just shut itself off under advanced leave the only delete files in Windows temp folders older than 24 hours because say you're installing a program and then you run CCleaner restart that program may be trying to pull more information out of your temp files and you just deleted it and now you're gonna have a system error from that install so leave that one checked because that gives you enough time uh, to make sure that those files aren't needed anymore. Now show prompt to back up registry issues. Remember when we were on the registry and asked me if I wanted to back it up. If you don't want to back it up and you don't want to be prompted just uncheck that and it won't ask you again the next time. Skip user account control warning. That makes it so the UAC doesn't show up every time you click on CCleaner to open it up. I leave it checked that way I don't have to do that extra step. And enable Windows jump list task. Leave that checked. And the about just basically tells you about the program and, you know, upgrade to the pro version. So in closing, what I do is I just run the cleaner until nothing comes up. There's that thumbnail cache. There's a search. Boom. We got zero. I run registry. Make sure nothing's there. And it's clean. And that's it. And then you can shut your computer down. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you've learned something from it. Thank you.